The Super Plus Under 40 Artist of the Year competition is being held at the Mutual Gallery. The competition aims at promoting new development in contemporary art and showcasing the work of artists under 40. The 2012 Super Plus Under 40 Artist of the Year will be selected on November 19. We spoke with some finalists and here are some highlights. <laughs> So we're here with Marvin Bartley, one of the finalists of the Super Plus Under 40 Artist of the Year competitions, and he's going to take us through his wonderful pieces. I'm very excited. Let's get started. So Marvin, talk to me. Talk to me. Uh, all right, this work you're looking at, it's, um, what, it's entitled um, The Great Rip. It was done um, in, in, um, for Small Arts Journal in accordance with the or sponsored by the Andy Warhol Foundation. Uh, this this work really is, is it has a lot of um, uh, meaning and, and historical yeah. meanings, the religion, you know, the, the past as it relates to slavery and um, colonialism. This this work really is. Um, is entitled River Sticks, The Arrival of Columbus. River uh, Sticks? Yes. The Arrival uh, of Columbus. Um, uh, River Sticks really came, um, is, uh, came because uh, I'm pretty much fascinated with you know, like Greek mythology and, and I guess the, the meanings that, that, that apply because really it's, okay. it's not to be taken at surface level. Uh, this, this work um, uh, is within the same series as the one we just um, saw and really it, it speaks to um, the, the, per, the, the person Christopher Columbus and, and what I think you know he really brought with him river sticks in, 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 in Greek mythology you know it's a, it's a river that separates um, um, the underworld I mean um, this life from, from Hades you have to ah. travel to that to get to, to Hades I see. and um, so it's really a dark, eerie, scary place, right. and that, for me, you know, instead of being as literal as water and so forth, it's why not bring the kind of in, um, effect that that you know I thought he brought um, with him, you know, our effect that he brought with him, um, and that's really like death, destruction, and so forth. But there's also another. Um, thing that came and that's you know the religious aspect. All right, uh, this image. Um, this is serious stuff. <laughs> this is this image is entitled um, the birth of Venus. This actually is a, is a reinterpretation of Botticelli's um, birth of Venus. And Not everyone knows right, what you're talking about, so just just Botticelli, give us the info. Botticelli you know? is an old master. He's one of the um, the greatest painters you can. Um, okay, you know, okay, one okay. Of. So you did a reinterpretation of yes, a painting yeah. that already exists. Yeah. So, ah. so, but, but when, when, but when one looks on his figure, mm -hmm. um, there, there are oh, four figures in there. I mean, it's Greek mythology. It's four figures in there. Venus is the ideal of beauty. She is what beauty is, what sex is, what everything feminine. Yeah. But the thing about it is that Botticelli's Venus, as beautiful as the work is, uh, it never really, really, all of what has been described in the history books and so forth never came through to me because I'm looking at a uh, Europeanist type figure. It's very long torso, it's very beautifully drawn. And she is extremely pale and her hair is very long and blonde. Right. And, um, and for, for, for that to be um, my ideal of beauty and of, um, of sex, of, uh, it, 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 you couldn't relate to that. I couldn't relate. Okay. So I've always wanted to do my own, and I mean, and, and this year I decided to do that. Um, and uh, this is my interpretation. Even though there were four figures in the original work, I decided to even, you know, expand on the on what the true meaning of that work was, because that work was highly sexual. But yeah. This, I try to make sure that everything is represented, every type of um, 
you know, sexual relation is represented within the frame, so it shouldn't extend necessarily outside. Is this your first exhibition here? Ah, uh, it's my first exhibition first here, yeah. And how do you feel about it? How do you feel I mean, about I, I was overwhelmed. To be in this exhibition, I find it so interesting because all four, um, all four of us are, are really pushing. I mean, the works are impressive. When I, you know, for, for it to be accomplished, I, I wish it wasn't. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> because, yeah. because of the of the caliber of work that all the people, uh, all the all the parchment um, put out. But what was overwhelming was really to see the amount of people. I don't think I've ever seen any. That, that's amount of people here on an opening night. It was you couldn't even walk through well, properly. Yeah, that's, and that's great. Because and we that really feels good because you're thinking that you know for the visual arts it's, it's, it's it. no people. there are people there who are genuinely interested <laughs> well well they proved it to me yeah <laughs> exactly exactly yeah well okay. it's really it's really um a really great feeling